Brian here from Luke Holmes Academy, I hope you're well. Rob Moore's multiple streams of income helped me avoid a COVID disaster. At one point I was very heavily involved in serviced accommodation. It was a strategy that I got hold of early, early on in my career and it was providing a lot of cash flow quickly. Obviously I had the single lets and they perform as they do, you know, providing sort of, you know, a £300 a month return. And then I discovered Airbnb and service accommodation and everything that it has to offer. And all of a sudden these single lets were earning, you know, four figures a month. And, you know, for me, I went all in. I was like, I've got to switch all my properties into this strategy. I then read Rob's book, Multiple Streams of Income, and it kind of changed my thought process on diversification. So I did start thinking to myself, I need to be creating these other multiple streams. So I started setting up other parts of the business. I started looking at HMOs. We started looking at a few more single lets. I then started creating a cleaning and a linen operation within the business, which obviously complemented the service accommodation side of things and the HMO side of things, but then handed it out to, to landlords and investors as well. We also then set up a project management side of the business where we do refurbishments, which obviously complements our BRR strategy. And I am so glad that I did because had I just been serviced accommodation with this current COVID disaster that's just happened, I probably would have gone bankrupt. You know, unfortunately, there's many people that have had to exit the market. They've had to hand properties back and their businesses have shut down overnight because they weren't able to cash flow themselves through the COVID disaster. Luckily for me, I got hold of this book many years ago and I changed my strategy and we built a nice portfolio over the last few years where we've got, you know, uh, we've got room to buy room rentals, we've got single lets, we've got the service accommodation and we've then got the other sort of avenues of the business as well. So during COVID, whilst our service accommodation portfolio probably took a well probably 80% hit at one point in early April and then it kind of you know has been picking up ever since uh, back to normal levels. But you know, had it taken that hit with the rents that we had due out, with the mortgage payments that we had due out, and the lack of bookings that we had coming in, it could have been a financial disaster for us. So um, obviously, I'm grateful that I picked that book up. I am always about learning and getting more and more knowledge. It doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how big your portfolio is, you should never stop learning because there's just that one little thing that might make you think differently. It might just add that little benefit to your journey and it might take you to that next level. Or in my case, it might help you avoid a huge disaster which could have closed the business down altogether had we not diversified many years ago. So for me, thank you Rob Moore, thank you for writing that book and for everyone else, make sure you continue to enhance your knowledge on your property journey and, and you know really kick on, look to diversify yourself, look for all those different revenue streams. Now the thing with multiple revenue streams, what you've noticed with my portfolio, I haven't got loads of different businesses and loads of different industries. They all complement each other so they kind of fit into the property business model but they complement each other in different ways and therefore it's easy for us to operate that way. Hope it helps. Good luck with your property journey. As always, don't forget to follow me on YouTube, Ryan Luke Property, and I'm also on Facebook, official Ryan Luke for the Facebook and Instagram accounts. Take care, have an awesome day, and I, I wish you well with your property journey.